If you've just finished customizing your Super Skeleton WordPress theme, you're going to want to save a backup of your settings, content, and any edited theme files. This is perfect just in case something goes wrong in the future, if you happen to break anything, or if you're trying to migrate your site to another server. For example, moving from a local host to a hosted service. There are lots of pre-built backup solutions out there, but in this video, we're going to cover the specifics on how to backup the Super Skeleton family of themes. There are four main parts of your WordPress site that you'll want to back up. The content, such as the posts and pages, the theme itself and any templates that you might have edited, the widget settings, which includes things like the sidebars and footers, and finally, the theme options that you filled out to customize the look of your site through the option tree settings. After we have covered backing up your site, we will cover how to restore your site from these backup files. Let's get started by backing up the content of your site. In your WordPress dashboard, go to Tools and click Export. Here we'll want to select the content that we want to back up. We want a complete backup, so we want to select All Content. Click the Download Export File button. This will save out as an XML file also known as a WXR file within WordPress that allows you to immediately restore all your posts, pages, menus, and users. Think of this as a snapshot of your blog's content. Select Save File and click OK. Just take note where the file was saved. For us, we can see that it's now in our Downloads folder. After you have finished backing up your site, you will want to keep all these files together. Next, let's back up the theme. This one's pretty easy. In most cases, if you haven't edited any of the templates, PHP, JavaScript, or CSS files, you can simply keep a copy of the theme that you downloaded from ThemeForest. If you can't find it, or need to download the most recently updated version of the theme, just go to ThemeForest and pull up the product page. For us, it will be the Super Skeleton theme product page, but for you, it may be another theme, like Reaction or Shapeshifter and download the newest version of the theme. If you remember, we'll want to extract all the files from the zip folder that we downloaded, navigate into the parent folder, open the theme zip folder, and this will be the theme zip folder that you want to use to back up your theme files. For those of you that might have edited any of these core theme files in a text editor on your own, Simply use an FTP connection to download the entire theme folder for backup purposes. To do this, just open your FTP connection, navigate to the site that you want to back up, open WP Content, go to Themes, select the theme that you want to back up, and click Download. Note that backing up your theme won't back up your sidebar or footer widgets, as WordPress currently doesn't allow you to back this up automatically. So let's go ahead and get into backing up your widget settings. For this step, you'll need to go back into your WordPress admin, navigate to the plugins, and download and install the free widget data settings import export plugin. You can do this by searching for it in the plugins add new directory. This plugin will allow you to download and export files just for your widgets and widget settings. Let's go ahead and install this now. And when that's finished, let's activate the plugin. Once it's activated, you'll have a new option under Tools for exporting your widget settings. Visit the link Widget Settings Export, select all the widgets that you want to back up, and click Export Widget Settings, and download the .json file that it will create. Keep in mind that if any of your widgets rely upon a third-party plugin, for instance, a Twitter or Flickr widget, you'll also need to install that same plugin when you are migrating or restoring from your backup. This is highly important. If you don't install the needed elements, your widgets may not work. So you may want to make a note of what you'll need for this in a text editor. Now that we've saved our blog content, the theme files, and our widgets, Let's save how the site is displayed by backing up the theme options that you took the time to fill out in the Appearance Theme Options panel. Backing up your theme options will include things like your uploaded logo, style settings, and color options. For this step, first we'll need to unlock the Export option. Visit Users, Your Profile, and after scrolling to the bottom, 
Check the box for Option Tree Settings in Documents. This will open a new panel for Option Tree. Visit the new Settings panel. Visit the Export tab. And on the second field for the theme options data, copy this big random code string and paste it into a .txt file. And save this as your theme options backup. At this point, you should have four main backup files. The XML file that holds all your blog's content, the theme folder that we downloaded from our FTP connection, or the theme zip that we got from ThemeForest, the JSON file for your widgets, and the theme options stored in a text file. You'll also see that we saved a text document that contains a list of all of our third-party plugins needed for our widgets. In addition, we have decided to include the original theme download package that we downloaded from ThemeForest. Now that you have a complete backup of your site, Let's walk through restoring your site from your backup files. Here we have reset our WordPress theme, deleting all of our content, and uninstalled our theme to show you what you might be working with. Now with these files, let's restore your site. Let's start by restoring your content. To restore your content, go to Tools, Import, WordPress, click Browse, Let's open the backup files for our site and click the XML document. Feel free to assign an author, click download and import, click submit, and have fun. Now you can see that we went from one post in one page to 19 posts and 28 pages. Now let's restore the theme. To restore the theme, let's simply re-upload the theme folder. To do this through WordPress, go to Appearance, Themes, Install Themes, Upload, Browse, and select the Theme Zip folder. Select Activate, and our theme has been restored. At this point, you'll want to install the needed plugins for the site and for the widget settings. Since our plugins are already installed, we'll want to select the ones that we need and activate them. Next, let's restore our widgets. To restore the widget settings, make sure that you've installed and activated the Widget Import-Export plugin. Also, you'll need to install the needed third-party widget plugins if you haven't already, such as Twitter and Flickr. After those things have been done, you can then import your widget settings with your JSON file. To do this, go to Tools, click Widget Settings Import, select our JSON file, and select All. Next, let's restore the theme options. To do this, we'll want to go to Users, Your Profile, scroll to the bottom, and Show Settings and Docs. Now we can go to Option Tree, Settings, Import, and under Theme Options Data, we'll want to paste the code string that we saved in our text file. Click Import Data, and your Theme Options data was imported. Lastly, we'll want to set our menus. Just go to Appearance, Menus, and set your menus under Theme Locations. Click Save, and that's it. If you visit the front end of your site, you should find your site restored from your backup files. If you have any other questions about this, let us know at the ThemeForest Forum, and also check out our other videos on our YouTube channel, Make Design Not War, where we continue to add content to help you step by step with your super skeleton themes. I'm Charlie, thanks for watching.